Lots of research tells us that those who eat more fruits and vegetables suffer from less diseases and tend to live longer. Beta carotene is a plant nutrient and precursor to vitamin A that's found in many healthy foods. And at one time it was thought that beta carotene might be the reason fruits and vegetables are healthy. But what about beta carotene supplements? Are they healthy? The effects of vitamin E and beta carotene on the incidence of lung cancer and other cancers in male smokers. 29,000 older men who smoked about a pack of cigarettes a day were given 20 milligrams or about 33,000 international units of beta carotene or vitamin E, or both for between five and eight years. Not only did both vitamin E, alpha tocopherol, and beta carotene fail miserably to reduce the risk of cancer, Unexpectedly, men taking beta carotene supplements experienced about a 20% increase in lung cancer. These men also showed about a 10% higher risk of dying from lung cancer and heart disease compared to those not taking beta carotene supplements. In another investigation, this one involving 18,000 smokers, former smokers, and those who removed asbestos from buildings were given either a combination of high dose beta carotene, 30 milligrams or 50,000 international units, and vitamin A supplements or a placebo. This study was actually halted early when the researchers discovered what was happening. It was unethical to continue the study. Those people taking beta carotene vitamin A supplements had an almost 30% higher risk of getting lung cancer than those taking placebo pills. Those people also had a 46% elevated risk of dying from lung cancer and a 17% increased risk of dying across the board from everything. Here are the cases of lung cancer occurring in the supplement takers compared to those taking placebos. Now you might be wondering if some of these lung cancer cases was due to the tar and nicotine in cigarettes, but that was not the case. Other researchers have noted that lung cancer risk increased regardless of the amount of tar and nicotine in the cigarettes people were using. And if all of this is not bad enough, some research appears to show that beta carotene seems to raise the risk of prostate cancer too. According to this study, men taking 20 milligrams, or roughly 33,000 international units of beta carotene, had a 23% increased risk of prostate cancer and a 15% increased risk of dying from prostate cancer compared to men who never took beta carotene supplements. Other researchers have revealed that men who took a daily multivitamin in addition to beta carotene or selenium or zinc supplements, those guys also had a significantly increased risk of dying from prostate cancer. Beta carotene also appears to raise the risk of heart disease and heart attacks as well. In this study, men who had previously had a heart attack were given 20 milligrams, about 33,000 international units of beta carotene or vitamin E or both versus a placebo for five years. Here it was found that men taking beta carotene supplements, those guys died more from heart disease than those who took a placebo. Other research has hinted that both beta carotene and vitamin E, alpha tocopherol, may raise the risk of dying across the board when used in amounts greater than the RDA. To be fair, not all clinical studies have shown beta carotene causes cancer, such as this investigation where doctors some of which were smokers, took 50 milligrams of beta carotene, equal to about a whopping 83,000 international units of beta carotene, for 12 years. Still, given the results of the other studies, is the risk of beta carotene supplements worth it? Now, as for frequently asked questions, which I've tried to address in the video, but let's talk about them here specifically. What about who's at most risk from beta carotene side effects? From the studies, it appears the risk of lung cancer appears to be strongest for smokers, former smokers, and those who've worked around asbestos and men who have had heart attacks. Although some research also suggests high dose beta carotene supplements may be hazardous to generally healthy people as well. As for the dosage at which side effects may occur, most studies use between 20 milligrams and 50 milligrams of beta carotene, which roughly equates to between 33,000 international units and 83,000 international units, which I do agree is a lot, although I have seen beta carotene supplements in stores containing 25,000 international units. So some of these studies are using dosages that are almost in line with what is found in some dietary supplements. 
The link between beta carotene and lung cancer has been known since the 1990s, yet companies continue to sell and market beta carotene supplements, and I don't know why. This is by far the scariest dietary supplement side effect I have ever encountered. Based on the evidence, I don't feel people should take beta carotene supplements. My advice, get it from food, which contains all of the carotene molecules and not just beta carotene. What do you think? Leave a comment below and let me know. Until next time, I am Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.